Hi everyone, my name is Danny Vol from the Swinburne node of ADAX, the Astronomy Data and Computing Services, and this is a tutorial about scientific data visualization with Python. In this tutorial, we will first cover some guiding principles to visualizing quantitative information. Then, we will look at how to choose the right visualization based on the type of information we want to present. This choice will depend on the type of information being qualitative or quantitative, and will vary based on the type of variables to be displayed. Finally, we will look at a number of visualization types, including figures, diagrams, and plots. It is possible to follow along with the code, which is included in the Jupyter Notebook available on the ADAX LMS. Generally speaking, making plots using Python is quite simple. Python includes a number of plotting packages, including the widely used package mathplotlib, that includes a number of functions to plot data. However, while it is simple to plot data, the challenge of scientific data visualization is to make meaningful plots that provide as much information to the viewer as possible, with minimal effort on their part. As a rule of thumb, if you need to visualize only a small number of values, a table or a simple description is appropriate. Otherwise, a visualization is more appropriate, as it can be difficult to understand many numerical values as a whole. Finally, the choice of a visualization depends on the type of data and the type of information that you want to carry forward. After all, data visualization is a form of storytelling. A good amount of research over the years has been put towards visualizing quantitative data. For example, see the classic book from Edward Tufte. It goes through a number of key topics related to the field, along with historical developments, nice maps, and delightful stories. We can inspire ourselves from his work and the work of others to lay down a few principles to help us produce good visualizations. Principle 1. The visual elements communicating the data or results, or information about them, must be easily discernible. In short, the size and font of text should be readable, and colors should be chosen appropriately to inform the viewer. A good print resolution should also be taken into account. Python and Matplotlib includes good mechanisms for this. Here, we show an example of what to avoid. Figure 1 shows a plot likely produced to be printed elsewhere. When used here, its small text is unreadable. Principle 2. The important aspects of the results must clearly emerge. For example, in a table, if you want to show that your results are better than others, or want to compare results for different parameters, you should put the best results, or those requiring attention, in bold, leaving the other values as is. This will quickly highlight the results of interests. For graphics, Care should be taken to make sure elements other than those representing data, such as labels, grid lines, legends, do not take an unreasonable importance in terms of size, number, or mere visual presence. This is sometimes referred to as the data-to-ink ratio. In general, it is better to use the ink for the data. Here is an example of a bad data-to-ink ratio. The amount of ink used for the lines and other features of the graph hides the actual data points. Principle 3. Simplicity is best. Many software and libraries permit the creation of figures with an overly complicated layout. For instance, some software offer the possibility to create 3D histograms where the depth axis is purely aesthetic. It is advisable to avoid such overly complex practices. It is best to keep it to the point. Here is an example of a three-dimensional histogram that really should be in 2D. Principle 4. Seek the balance between the presentation of the numerical values and that of the phenomenon or interpretation that these values illustrate or suggest. The most appropriate representation of results is not necessarily the easiest to precisely interpret the data. Instead, it is often the one that suggests or supports the proposed interpretation, which highlights the phenomenon in question and shows to what extent the displayed values participate in this phenomenon. It is often the case where experimental data points, or measurements, are plotted in conjunction with a model, or a fit. Visually, the eyes will tend to follow the line, which highlights the phenomenon, 
the model, and we'll let the viewer interpret how the data agrees with the model. Other statistical measurements can provide extra information about this too. For instance, this figure highlights the relation between the model and the observation. To simplify the visual, the text accompanying the figure explains what the symbols represent, avoiding to overcrowd the figure.